when the morning comes. Trials dark on every hand and we cannot understand All the ways that God will lead us to that blessed promised land And He'll guide us with His eye and we'll follow till we die We will understand it better by and by We're singing by and by, oh, when the morning comes shelter and a food, thirsty hills and barren lands. But we're trusting in the Lord and according to His word, we will understand it better by and by. We're singing For we storm this word of deep And we wonder why the test When we try to do our best We will understand it better by and by Oh, I'm singing by and by Oh, when the morning comes To the rock that is higher than I, higher than I, higher than I. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. You are my tower against the foe. Hear my cry, oh God, won't you answer my prayers? Answer my prayers. Answer my prayers. Hear my cry, oh God, won't you? Answer my prayers, you are my tower against the foe. And I'll take refuge in the shelter of your shelter wings. Of your shelter, wings. Of your shelter of your wings. Shelter of your wings. I'll take refuge in the shelter of your wings. You are my tower against the foe. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Tower against the foe. And I'll fulfill my vows to you day after day, day after day, day after day. I'll fulfill my vows day after day. You are my tower against the foe. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Tower against the foe. You are my tower against the foe. You are my tower against the foe. Amen. The Lord is watching over me. The Lord watches. The Lord watches. The Lord watches, the Lord watches 
When I'm on the street each day, the Lord watches over me. And when I'm on my knees to pray, the Lord watches over me. And when I'm on my way to share, the Lord watches over me. Don't you know God's with me day? The Lord watches over me. The Lord watches. The Lord watches. The Lord watches. The Lord watches. 10,000 angels in the fire. The Lord watches over me. A thousand falling on your the run. Lord watches when over I me. have no fear, you won't be strong. The Lord watches over me. Don't you know that God's good love? The Lord watches over me. The Lord watches. 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 To preach your word is why we came. The Lord watches over me. I'm praising all in Jesus' name. The Lord watches the over me. The grace of God will see you through. The Lord watches over me. The Lord is watching over you. The Lord watches over me. The Lord watches. 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 Okay, clap it out now. Okay, I hope drop it out. Okay, last verse. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. The Lord watches over me. I was on lost, but now I'm found. The Lord watches over me. I was blind, but now I see. The Lord watches over me. The Lord is watching over me. The Lord watches over me. The Lord watches. The Lord watches. The Lord watches, the Lord watches, the Lord watches, the Lord Jesus is the Lord watches, the Lord watches, the Lord watches over me. Magandang gabi, wag mo na kayo matulog! I feel so lonely right now. Aww. I'm in school right now and Mark's not here, as you can tell, I'm all alone. I just wish there was someone here who could co-host the show Aww. with me. Oh, here we go! Zach Shields! <laughs> the lead evangelist of the, as he calls it, Metro Davao International Christian Church. Good to have you, Zach. Well, thank you, Ricky, for inviting me. Oh, man, but you know what? I just feel like... It's just so empty over here. I wonder, you know what? I think I got someone in mind who could join us for the show. Yeah, I think I do. Come on up, bro. <laughs> Prisco Palamata. Nice. So with that, we want to welcome you to Midweek Essentials. And today we're going to talk about having a powerful prayer. The who, what, when, where, why, how, etc of a powerful prayer life. Wow. Welcome to Week Essentials. of prayer in our relationship with God. And for me, when it comes to the purpose of prayer and the power of prayer, there's only one scripture that comes to mind, and it is obviously highlighted by many, many scriptures. Wow. Matthew chapter 26, and I love this scripture because it really highlights the example of Jesus. Mm. And in Matthew 26, let's be honest, Jesus did not want to die on the cross for our sins. How do we know that? Well, because the Bible tells us that. Verse 36, then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to them, sit here while I go over there and pray. 
He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee along with him, and he began to be sorrowful and troubled. And he said to them, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. That's the level of emotion that Jesus is feeling. Oftentimes, people fall away or give into sins because they're overwhelmed with emotion and the challenges of life. Jesus is no different, if not a thousand times more. He knows what's about to happen to him, and yet his solution was to pray. Prayer was the answer to any man of God or woman of God in the Bible. And in this moment, Jesus very simply goes, guys, I'm scared. I'd rather die right now than to have to go through with what I'm going to go through. I'm just wow. filled with grief and sadness. And, you know, he knows Judas is coming to betray him. I mean, we can't even begin to articulate what he's feeling right now. And yet his solution was to pray. But look at his prayer. Verse 39 says, going a little farther, he fell with his face to the ground and he prayed. He didn't have the strength to pray, so he just fell down to his face and he prayed. He prayed, my father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken away from me unless I drink it. May this cup be taken from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. He says, I don't want to drink the cup of death. I don't want to die on the cross, but, I, but more than that, I don't want to disobey you. Mm. Sure. You see, the purpose of prayer is it's the last line of defense mm -hmm. when we're struggling spiritually. Wow. When you're struggling spiritually and you want to give into a sin or give into an emotion, prayer is the last line of defense yep. that allows us to stay in obedience to God. Right. Mm -hmm. It says, then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Could you may not keep watch with me for one hour? He was praying for a whole hour. Wow. Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the body is weak. He's speaking about what he's struggling with. He says, my spirit is willing, but my flesh is weak. I know I need to die on the cross, but I don't want to do it. And you guys are falling asleep, and you're going to fall short. Wow. It says, you went away a second time and prayed, my father, but it's not possible for this cup to be taken away unless I drink it. May your will be done. You see the resolve beginning to come into Jesus' spirit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It says... When he came back, he again found them sleeping because their eyes were heavy. So he left them and went away once more and prayed the third time, saying the same thing. Then he returned to his disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Look, the, the hour is near, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us go. Here comes my betrayer. Wow. Look at the resolve at the end of Jesus' prayer. He was determined. He was prepared. And yet before this, he was not. Mm. Only prayer got him to this point. Yeah. Only prayer got him to this point. And yet he understood that if he did not pray, he would not be able to get his heart where it needed to be. How many times did Jesus pray? The initial answer would be three, but that's incorrect. He didn't pray three times. He prayed until his heart was changed. Wow. Because he was God in the flesh, it only took three prayers. But for us... Are you willing to pray as many times as it takes? You see, the start of the prayer was, I don't want to do it. The end of the prayer was, I will do it. Mm -hmm. That's the purpose of prayer, is to make sure that our heart stays in line with God's will for our life. Zach, you want to Yeah, I, I really appreciate just, first of all, how vulnerable Jesus was in the beginning of his prayer. Like, he knew he needed help, and so he goes to his most trusted brothers. And he only asks them for one thing, pray with me. You know, I think uh, what I'm most grateful for, especially when I'm going through a difficult time, mm -hmm. is just being able to have, you know, friends in the kingdom where I can just ask them to pray with me. Mm -hmm. And um, they don't necessarily need to do anything, but it's just it's just that time of prayer, that that openness, uh, just being open about the different struggles we're going through, and then praying together specifically yeah. for those thoughts. Um, but what I really appreciate about this passage, too, is just really the example of humility that Jesus had before mm -hmm. God. I mean, I can't imagine falling flat on my face. It doesn't say that he got down on his knees and then laid down onto his face. It said that he just fell with his face to the ground. Yeah, right. I mean, he was just totally floored under the immense pressure of what he was going through. But what's amazing is that he responded from, to this pressure you know, through prayer. And I think that's something that I need to grow in. You know, yeah. Whenever I feel pressure, whenever I feel like I'm going through a lot, oftentimes I want to fall on my face and get on my phone. Or I fold my face into my bed, or I fold my face into Facebook yeah. or YouTube. And, you know, let's be honest, it doesn't always end up just there. It often leads to other places. Right. But Jesus, he just fell in his face to prayer. And not only did it guard his heart, but it helped him to be more resolved. That's awesome, bro. Yeah, what a great example. Chris, what do you think? 
Yeah. Well, yeah, what I think is the example of Jesus Christ is so convicting because oftentimes when we're tired, when we're overwhelmed, we wanted to get our the source of our strength from the things that we love to do. Mm, you know, yeah. like like what Zach <laughs> said, like uh, maybe for me playing Dota. Oh, oh but no. it wouldn't really get my heart right to the will of God, but instead it will take my heart away from God. Mm. Because I'm using it as an escape to the reality of what I'm about to face. Wow. And okay, so for me, oh, praying awesome. is the only answer to make our heart to submit to the will of God. Wow. You know, I remember uh, when I was uh, uh, about to uh to exit college because I have to give it up to, to go to Cebu. And my heart was not right. My heart was not right. And instead of going to God in prayer, I went to uh to San Palo, not San Palo, but I went to Pino Val mm. in Uvel to play for hours of oh. one hours of daughter. Oh. Yeah. Oh, but but no. I said to myself that I can't do this. Like man, like the disciples are out there sharing their faith and mm. I'm here like slumping over the, the things that I need to, to work on. And so I started having my prayer walk. And so I walked from Pino Val to my house in Quezon City mm, wow. and just praying to God, like, God, I don't want this heart. I want it to submit to you. So I think for me, uh, the, the prayer is very important mm-hmm. in a disciple's life because oftentimes, or a lot of times, we'll be challenged or we'll be put in situations that you don't want to be at. Yeah. But prayer is an answer for that to be able to have our heart just to really be connected. To the will of God. That's awesome. Wow. Uh, before we go forward, <coughs> what is Dota? Oh, oh Dota no. is the ancient. Oh, okay, man. Man. wow. Never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> Was it worth it? Uh, it's, it's 20 pesos per hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I wish you could see Chokers right now. Just <laughs> all the money she knows it could have saved had you not played Dota. No, I'm just kidding. Bro. <laughs> uh, I think that uh, that's a great example. And I think both of these are great guys because they didn't get here by you know, just being awesome. Mm. And we know they're awesome, but they are men of prayer and they rely on God. You know, I think the purpose of today's episode really is to understand what prayer is for in our relationship with God. You know, I think something people can struggle with is how much should I pray? What's my prayer life look like? Yeah. That's not what we're here to answer. Yeah. What I'm going to tell you is that if you want to get to heaven, you have to have this type of dynamic in prayer. I know there have been many times for me when I just felt overwhelmed with emotion for different reasons. Um, you know, when Colleen and, and Mina both almost died when Colleen was giving delivery. Wow. I mean, it was just overwhelming. I think about times in the ministry where I just, I have told Colleen, babe, I have got a lot in my heart. I'm leaving. I'll be back when I'm resolved. Mm-hmm. And there have been times where I'm gone. And, and I'm telling you what, you're, like the first like, Two hours just like trying to pray through a hard heartedness. And there have been times where I don't even pray, I'm just walking because my, my heart is just feeling so hard. Yeah. But then after like an hour of walking, I, I start talking to God and then I start talking more and I talk more. It's amazing because there's a moment, you have like a breakthrough moment yeah. that you see even Jesus had. He didn't have it in his first prayer, he didn't have it in his second prayer, he had it in his final prayer, and that's when he was done. Yeah. He was done when he had the breakthrough mm. that God's will would become a reality through him. Right. Mm. And that's what prayer is all about. It's about being the last line of defense. It's about keeping our hearts connected with God. And so really the who, what, the when, the where, the why, the how, these are things you got to figure out for yourself. Yeah. When you should pray is when you're not close to God like right. this. Mm. How you should pray is with vulnerability. Yeah. Where you should pray is where you connect with God. But you can told anywhere is better than than, than nowhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, why you pray is to keep your heart connected with God. It, it's all about making sure that we stay like this with God. Mm-hmm. And some days you're going to have to pray for 10 minutes to stay connected with God. Some days it may require four hours. Yeah. The question is, are you going to be like Jesus and mm-hmm. stay connected with God? And so I want to encourage us as we go through the rest of our midweek to really dwell upon, is this what our prayer life looks like and what it's all about? is maintaining the connection with God. So thank you, Zach, for your example. Thank you, bro, for your example. We got the Davao church leader, the now Cebu church leader. Oh, buddy. And I'm just some white dude here in the third. <laughs> so have a great rest of the midweek. That is Midweek Essentials. Love you guys, and God bless. See ya. Bye-bye. I say a saw that it would come Beginning from Jerusalem And the last days to every tongue 
to every nation. And Daniel saw through prophets' eyes a kingdom that would never die, a mountain that would fill the earth, a rock that would endure, that would be great among the nations, a fire from a spark, so great among the nations. Bringing sunlight to the dark And offering salvation To a world of broken hearts Among the nations there would be A movement that would change eternity And scholars looked for him in vain their earthly king, he never came. Instead, a carpenter would start a kingdom of the heart. And beaten, bruised, he stretched his hand as God became a dying man. And king on cross was sacrificed for the church, his bride. That would be great among the nations, a fire from a spark. So great among the nations, bringing sunlight to the dark, and offering salvation to a world of broken hearts. Among the nations there would be a movement that would change eternity. And now this kingdom is our own. We bow before his heavenly throne and pledge our lives to his great cause to seek and save the lost. And everywhere in every word we share with all who have not heard about the truth that sets men free, that prophets long to see. That would be great among the nations, a fire from a spark. So great among the nations, bringing sunlight to the dark, and offering salvation to a world of broken among the nations there would be a movement that would change eternity.